All right, so uh, I want to show you how to add text to a project. I've already opened up Adobe Premiere Elements 13, and I've loaded a video clip here and a picture, and I want to add some text to this. And so over here on the bottom right-hand side, you'll see a, a area that is called Titles and Text, and you're going to click on that. And if it doesn't come up with Frequently Used, it may just come up with a, a general... Uh, list here and that's what you want you want the default text uh, block and you're just gonna left click on that and drag it over here and put it in video 2 or video 3 or whatever you have available alright so that's gonna that's gonna uh, drop that in there and it's gonna come up and it's gonna have an area here where it says add text so you just place your cursor there and you highlight that highlight all your text and type in whatever it is you want to type in. So, how to modify, and you'll notice now I'm going off here to the right hand side, and uh, you can't see the text is going off the picture, but you can still keep typing. How to modify text in Adobe. So, I'm going to show you one of the quirks right now. If I go and I try to um, bold this text right now with some of it on the screen and some of it off the screen okay it only bolded uh, this first part here the rest of it is not uh, bolded and when I go to change the size uh, I get this uh, the cursor here with a left and right arrow on it over here where it says size and if I hold that down and move it to the left it will make the text that it did not uh, bold get smaller and if I move it to the right, it makes the text I did not bold get bigger. Uh, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to change everything at once. So, uh, if you're going to bold your text, wait until you get all of your text on the screen over here. All right. So I'm just going to delete this text box because it's easier to do that than it is to fix it again. We go back over here, grab our default text box, put it over here in video 2. And now I'm going to highlight that and type in how to modify text in Adobe. So now what I want to do is I want to change my size first. And again it gives you these left and right arrows and if you go to the left it makes it smaller. If you go to the right it makes it bigger. I find it's usually quicker to just to click in that box and type a small number like 50. Hit the enter key and um, in that case it didn't quite all get on the screen but make sure your text block is all on your screen. At that point you can bold it and and it bolds all the text and if you change the size um, um, it would change everything together if you try to make it smaller or bigger so once I've got it all on the screen if you'll notice this mode right here with the T and the shadow box is what I'm using because I'm editing the text I want to click on this this box over here where it has the arrow I click on that and now uh, I can click on this text box and I can move it around Okay, and you might want to do that to get it someplace like right here where, where the color uh, has good contrast with the background and it's easy to read versus if you put it up there it's the wrong color. But I'm going to show you how to change the color anyway. So get it where you want it and you can grab the handles on this and uh, stretch it and make it whatever size you want. And then um, go over back over here to your adjustments box. There's a color palette. And if you click on that color palette, it comes up and gives you this. It gives you a spectrum down here to the uh, uh, on this bar here. And if I pick a color there, uh, well, let me just show you how to do black first. So if you click on black, it changes all your text to black. Okay. You click OK and you're done. But you can see you really can't read over here in that one corner. So that's not a good color for me to choose. So let me uh, pick something like maybe uh, a yellow. And if you click on yellow, uh, intuitively you would think now your text is going to be yellow. Uh, but you'll notice I click OK and nothing happens. Uh, this is another one of these little quirks. If I click on the spectrum to yellow, I then get this, this square here that shows me all my different shades of yellow. And I have to pick one of those. So if I pick this, now it changes this box down here to yellow, changes my, my box to yellow. So I have to not only pick... Uh, the color in the spectrum bar here like blue but then I have to pick a shade of blue because if, if you don't have 
this this box here something clicked in that and activated it doesn't really change your color by changing this once you've got a, a box up there then you can change this and it and it will change uh, but your circle stays here so you'd always have the same sort of uh, color or uh, temperature of that color uh, so if I wanted a, a lighter color and then I click on blues it's that little round circle will stay right there as I click on my spectrum bar so that's how you got it. What you got to use to pick your color. So uh, you can pick one there uh, as you view it, and pick something that looks like it shows up against the background well. Um, so let's just for uh, the fun of it, go back here to this yellow sort of color, make it a little darker. Um, that might work. And so we'll say OK. So that's how we add our text, modify it. If uh, if you're in this this mode with this with this arrow, um, again, I can grab handles. I can I can make my text tall. I can make it short. I can make it, you know, change the size of it this way. But um, I can't modify my text. Uh, when I try to click there, I just end up moving the box. Okay. So to modify the text, you have to go back and click um, this T, giant T here, and then it will allow you to go in there and you can modify the text in case you had a spelling error or something like that. Um, if you are moved on to a different text box, uh, again, go back to uh, where it has your default text over here. Double click on that, uh, double left click, and it will bring your text box back up to where you can modify it. Um, the other thing to change the duration of your text box, you can uh, grab the, uh, the edge of it this little uh, red bracket um, with the left and right arrow will show up and you can you can make it to where uh, the duration of that text that's showing is different so if I hit play um, it's there and then it disappears if I make it longer to where it's uh, there for the whole video clip um, and it will kind of auto lock on the edges of your video uh, but if I hit play then now it's there for that whole duration so that's how you change the duration of the text box. Okay, and then I can add another text box um, again by going down here where it has titles and text uh, under my general category. Grab default text, drop it over here, and you'll notice sometimes it shows you both texts. If this is if this is kind of lined up just right. Uh, again, one of those quirks, sometimes it shows you both text boxes, but they're not actually overlapped. You can see if I go back here uh, and play it, they're, they're not there at the same time. Uh, but lots of times when you pop it up there at first, it will look like it's there at the same time. And so again, um, I can go here. Now if I, if I click here, you'll notice I can't edit the text. That's because it thinks I'm, I'm looking at the picture. So I have to double click on that default text box, and then it will let me add... Or, uh, highlight the text and change it. So again, I'm off the screen, so I want to make sure I change my size first to where I'm on the screen before I bold that or underline it or, or italicize it or anything. Go in and change my color. Black in this case would look pretty good. Click on this right, on this um, arrow over here to the right uh, that will let me reposition my text. And if I want to change it now, go back uh, or uh, change the size again. I can grab the handles on it and uh, move that. And if I want to edit it, click on the T. It will let me go in here, change me text, and uh, that's that. So that's kind of the basics of how you work with text in Adobe uh, Premiere Elements 13.